Hello everyone and welcome to our new video. Today we're going to show you how you can use our WP Data Tables plugin with Elementor Pro integration. Nowadays we already know that Elementor plugin is very popular and basically all the page builders for the WordPress websites and it is very e easy to create the page without knowing too much of the code. So today we can display you how our plugin is working with this uh, page builder. Okay, Bogdan. Well, first of all, we've got a table created in WP Data Tables and a chart. So for this video, we will choose a pie chart, and these are all both al already created. So I'll yeah, we don't need to create it right now. So just to right. display. We're just okay. displaying that it's already there. So we have the uh, short code of the chart and then a short code of the WP Data Table. So now we can. Uh, add a new page and when we add a new page we will choose the Elementor as the builder so edit with Elementor okay wait for it to load there it is so we have a blank Elementor page we we'll simply search for WP data tables widget drag it here and in it we choose the table the one we created, choose if it's a regular table or Excel like, mm -hmm. uh, set up any possible variable placeholders if you have any, if not, doesn't matter. And we choose the chart and add it below. Just select the chart and publish the page. Okay, so can you now show me the how the table and the charts display on the front end? Yeah, sure. We click on preview changes. It opens up in a new window and you can see the table and the chart below. Okay. So if you filter the table, for example, are those changes applied to the, to, to the chart as well? Yeah, we can type in SUV and wait for it to filter. So here it is. It's only one value. So 100%, but we can change that to sedan. And it's again, so yeah, only one, only one result. Okay, yeah, so. simple table. So okay, so if you go back to the previous page, uh -huh. I saw that there are some other filters that you can apply. For example, placeholders. Yeah, right there. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, these are placeholders that can be used as predefined uh, filtering and editing values. Um, so we need to define the variable one. Mm -hmm. We'll leave it blank here because I want to show you how to filter it. So in column settings under filtering, we can add uh, var1 as predefined filtering value. Okay. So when we go back to creating the page, we can enter sedan. And basically the short code is automatically changed, right? Yeah, exactly yeah. right. So when we update the page, you can see that it's filtered by sedan. Yeah. And it's the chart response, of course. So basically you can use, you can change uh, the variable placeholder on mm -hmm. different pages using the same table, but different variable placeholder. You can fil filter this page per sedan, the next page per SUV and so on. Yeah. Okay. That, that can be very useful, right? Yeah, of course, especially when you have multiple uh, values, more than six rows in a table. Okay, yeah, yeah. So that's basically it for my questions. So guys, if you have any more questions or suggestions, please please let us know in the comment section below. We will try to cover all of your questions on our pre-purchase ticketing system and we will also leave a link to the text, doc text documentation of the Elementor Pro and our plugin, plugin integration. So that's, that's about it. Yeah, thank you for watching and see you in another video. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.